6 Ways Identify Your Strength and Weakness in Business There are multiple ways to acknowledge the ups and downs in your business. It starts from paying attention and a good observation. Identifying your weakness and strength and working on it is a habit of self-improvement. 1. With feedback from the business team. Your mentors and team members in business will give you genuine feedback on your performance. The network growth depends on teamwork, and your bad performance affects your business and the other direct sellers in the team. So, the business owners will be careful and honest when giving feedback. For progress in direct selling, you need to take that feedback seriously and work on your weaknesses. When commenting on your team's performance, be careful to clear their mistake and appreciate their skills. 2. Self-awareness. Being self-aware is a very good quality. It means you know your strength and weakness without the need for someone else to point them out. Anyone can develop this quality by observing one's thoughts and actions. Self-awareness can inspire you to build key skills, work on shortcomings and importantly, use your talents. The confidence, knowledge and skills you can gain from the business are immeasurable when you are self-aware and willing to change. 3. Asking customers for feedback. The number one challenge a direct seller will face in the business is rejections. You might meet many uninterested people or sometimes get declined by people you expected to join the network. There will be several reasons people reject the products or business prospects. These rejections can seriously affect your business growth. So, it is important to know why people decline the prospect. You can ask your target audience why they are declining the offer whether it is for any specific reasons or just the lack of interest in the business. If it's something other than uninterest, then you can start working on it. Acknowledging the weakness is a strength too. 4. Training and skill development. One way to identify strengths and weaknesses is by increasing your knowledge. The more you learn, the more you can understand the skills and lack of skills. For instance, whether you are good or bad at any particular skill, training and courses can make you aware of your weakness and then help you develop the skills. Training is the most productive way of learning about yourself. Not only will it help you identify your downsides, but it will also help to improve from it. So, with skill development courses, training, or experience, you can learn about yourself and develop your skill. Five performance of your business. The way your business is working clearly depict your performance. In turn, your performance directly results from your skills, talents, strength, and weakness. Analyze your business performance in terms of product sales, network growth and total profit every month. According to the analysis, you can compare your business with others. It will give you a general idea of how the business is performing compared to the competitors. Plus, it will help you identify your weakness and strength. 6. Understanding how businesses work. In-depth knowledge of how business works or how a good business person makes a decision in particular situations can help you understand what you have in common with them and what more is there to improve. A business person should make apt choices sometimes after giving it much thought, and other times immediately. Look at how you are making decisions, and ask yourself if that's how a business person should be working. Understanding the direct selling industry, its competition, and the future can help you understand the business better. Learning about your business in light of this knowledge will further motivate you to grow.